Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel once again. We're going to show you how to install this Nest Outdoor IQ camera without having any electrical in the area and without having to have an outdoor plug. If you're going through the soffit and into the attic, you have an accessible attic, we'll show you how to do that. As you can see, we just finished installing it and we have our very good ladder that we trust this is the gorilla ladder and it's very versatile i do recommend it if you don't have one and you do some work even though it's light work or whatever get one they're really good but we'll show you how to do that and have the connection into the attic okay so what you see here is the wire that's coming from that nest camera that outdoor iq camera and if you follow the wiring you can see it goes into the soffit which we showed you just moments ago so i'm going to show you how to wire it to an attic with something that 99 percent of the attics have and that's electricity so in this case and i'm trying to get the light away from me you see this this is an attic light <laughs> and it's connected to an attic switch so this switch, you see the two black wires, this wire was here, and this one I have not removed yet. But it went into that little box, little switch box, and I already removed the switch plate. It was actually cracked. But what we're going to do is we're going to put a different type of switch in there that will allow us to connect your Nest Cam, because your Nest Cam has a plug like this where the back of this here connects into this connector here so we're going to do it slowly and simply for you but and we're going to do it safely as well so let's go ahead and do it okay so even if you're not an electrician by trade even if you have no experience with electrical we're going to show you some tips so the first thing you want to do before you work with anything electrical, make sure that there's no power. Now, obviously, what I'm using here is a contactless electrical tester. So it will light up whenever there's power, and it won't light up when there's no power. So you just simply press the button, and if you put it near a power source, it will light up and it will beep also. So you want to put it around all your wires, and as you can see, there's no power. Once you've done that, and once you remove this switch, we'll show you what the next step is. As you can see, the switch is out. And all I have now are the two black wires that were connected to the switch. And if you look in the background, there's white wires into a wire nut. And then there's copper bare wires into another wire nut. So if you understand a little bit about electricity, the switch is basically interrupting the power between these two black wires if i put this wire to this one right now this light will come on so if you understand that concept obviously there's no power right now it's turned off at the breaker but if there were power right now and i put this wire into this one if i kind of make them touch like this of course without me getting my fingers in there it would light up the bulb so one of these two is bringing power from your breaker box and you want to find out which one of these two black ones is that one once you find that out that's what we call the hot wire or your power wire and the power wire is going to come into the switch and then the switch is going to say yes or no to the power going back to the bulb okay so to do that you need to turn on the power again again be careful you don't want to touch this you just want to make sure you turn on the power so we're going to go to the breaker box which is literally right below here and we're going to turn on the power and we're going to put our tester back and see which one of these makes the tester beep see that and the one behind it does not none of these will but this one will on the foreground so I know that the black wire that's on the foreground is my power wire or my hot wire. Q 
keeping that in mind, what you see here is an outlet switch on one top and an outlet on the bottom because this is going to take place of my old switch here, which is this one. And the switch part of this here uh, outlet will still turn on my attic light. So that bulb will still go on by me turning this, but then your plug here will allow me to plug in my outdoor nest camera without having to bring this plug into the house and drilling holes through the ceiling and so forth. So since I already know that this is my power wire, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the breaker again. And you wanna make sure you have the right breaker turned off because you don't want to get electrocuted. So you test it again. And like that, you know, it's the right one. So let's go down below and show you what we're gonna do with this first. Okay, so what I've done with this switch is made it a little bit easier on myself before I go back up into the attic or basement or crawl space. And what I did is I got small wires from a Romex spool that I had probably about five or six inches. You don't need more than that. And you're gonna put your bare ground into the green screw and you're gonna put your white neutral into this connector here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an N on there. Okay, there's an N for neutral. That'll be your white wire. And if you notice here, what I did is I, it's probably erased by now anyway, but it's hot and I put the word power. So if it's, if hot doesn't remind you, just put the word hot or put power or put hot and power, or whatever. But that's gonna be on the one that's labeled as common. So it's, it's hard to see, but it says common in there, okay? So let me see if I can get a better angle. There we go, common. So that's gonna be the one that beeped. That's gonna be the black wire coming from your break, breaker. It's providing the power to the switch and this switch is gonna basically interrupt the power or allow it to go from here to here. And then on this side, where it says A1, you see the A1 there? That's going to be the other black wire. So if you remember, the old switch I had there had just two black wires. And then what these two wires are going to do is the wire nut that I showed you that had all the white wires will go here. And the wire nut that had all the bare wires will be this, which is your ground wire. Once we do that, we'll be able to successfully plug in our Nest camera in the attic without having to come inside the house or drill holes through the wall, etc., and it'll be a really nice, neat install. So let's go ahead and finish it up. All right, so we got our two black wires connected, one on one side, one on the other. If you remember, the one that was on the foreground was the one that provided power, and you can see that's where I labeled it, hot or power, so it's there. Now all we need to do is connect your white wire into this wire nut with the white wires and your bare wire into this wire nut with the bare wires. Feel free to cut them down accordingly just so you don't use excess but i used about five or six wire six inches just to show you guys but i'm going to cut them down and connect them so you have your white wire connected to that white wire nuts and your copper wire you just want to make sure you add some electrical tape around the actual switch i just like to do it as a safety because if you look here, this box is metal. It's an old metal box. I just don't want things rubbing in there or touching, whatever. Sometimes electricians will tend to, you know, they trust their skill and they'll move these boxes out of the way and forget to turn off the power just because they think they can do it safely. I've seen guys do it right next to me. So just make sure you have electrical tape wrapped around the actual switch. Finally, once we got your plug and your outlet assembly all back in there, you want to make sure you test it. So see how the light comes on, the light comes off. Then you also want to make sure there's power here. So you can either connect a lamp or whatever, but I like to use this tester. It's about three or four bucks. It's not very expensive. And what it does is it will tell you the correct so if these two 
ends are lit up like you see in the bottom there, that means it's correct. The two yellow lights are on, that's good. Now, if the one on the far left over here comes on, you can see that's, that's telling you something's not right. And you can see the actual, I'm not, like I said before in the other videos, I'm not an electrician by trade, but you just wanna make sure that it's correct. And that's what we have here. So you can also plug in a lamp to it and that'll tell you it's correct as well. Once you tested this, then you can go ahead and put your cover on there, which we're gonna do next. All right, there's your final install. You have our plate on there. Turn it on, light comes on. And then the next thing we do is we're gonna get our plug for our Nest Cam. And let me see if I can do this with one hand. We're just going to connect this to it. Bear with me. It's in there. And then all we need to do is plug it in. It's plugged in there. You're always gonna have power here if you do it the way we mentioned in this video. And regardless whether you turn off this attic light or turn it on, this part is always going to be powered. And this is providing the juice to the Nest Cam that is just over the soffit. Put my scuttle hole cover there, but it's just over there. So it wasn't too bad of a run. If it's longer than that, I'd say this is about six feet away. But if it's longer than that, the cable that comes with it, this cable right here, is 25 feet long. So you do get that from Google, 25 feet long. And what I'll do is I will provide the link in the description where you can get this little fancy outlet and switch combo, as well as the, the cover and just about everything that we used in the video. So you have an idea of what of the tools you'll need. I know it's all messed up around here, but Hopefully this helps you when you're installing your Nest Cam outdoors or if you're doing this for someone else. Thank you and uh, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.